one. This is our threat of the day. It says a billionaire inspired from the love of Shah Jahan towards his wife. He started the construction of a palace uh, for his wife on the first January 1983, which was Saturday. And she and he wanted to give the palace to her wife on her 74th birthday. So he stopped the construction only for 10 days every year. Except in the last year of the construction, in which the construction work went on without any disruption. Now it took uh, it took uh, 250 laborers to complete the construction of the palace uh, in the in 3,099 working days. Now, not the total uh, days in the year in in, in the whole uh, time period, but 3,099 working days. Since he is also stopping work for some time. The total cost of palace to the billionaire was $50 million and uh, this is a story given to you, right? So question, first question says on which day of the week did the construction complete? Now, he started a construction on 1st January 1983. He started the construction on 1st January 1983 and uh, stopped for 10 days every year. Now, we can see that in 84, in 1984, that was a leap year. He, uh, the work was done for 356 days because 10 days was the break. Similarly, in the year 1983 also, since the work started in the 1983, in 1983 also the work was done for 55 days. So for a leap year, it was done uh, for 356 days, and in the non-leap year, it was done for 355 days. In the non-leap year, it was done for 355 days, and the leap year it was done for 356 days. Right. Now let us do a little bit of hit and try here. Little bit hidden trial will work here because total days are 3099. So, obviously, if I divide 3099 by even 365, uh, this value has to be less than 9, right? So, obviously, that means uh, 10 years were not uh, uh, taken to complete the whole work, it was less than 10 or it was also less than 9 years, right? So, that's why let us first talk about the first 8 years. First eight year means from 1st January 1983 till uh, 31st December 1990. That will complete that eight years because from 1st January 83 till 31st January, 31st December 1983, it will be one complete year, right? So up to 31st December 1990, it will be eight years. Now, in these eight years, there will be two leap years. One of them was 1984, second one was 1988. So there will be two leap years, and the remaining all were the non-leap years. Six were the many six uh, remaining six years were the non-leap years. So total days in this case are uh, 355 multiplied by six non-leap years plus 356 multiplied by two leap years. So this happens to be uh, this is two one three zero, and the next one is seven hundred and twelve. And if I add these two values, this will be two eight four two two eight four two. That means two thousand eight hundred forty two days are completed till thirty first December nineteen ninety, and the remaining days are. The many days are 3099 minus 2842 and that will be 257. So these are the total days left now. So these are the days in the year 1991. Right? These are the years of the uh, these are the days of the year 1991. So Question asks us the uh, question is uh, on which day the work was completed. Now we know that 1st January 1983, 1st January 1983 was Saturday that is given to us. 
that it is Saturday on the first January 1983. And up to first January 1983, up to uh, from first January 1983 up to first January 1991, we have eight years in between. Out of these eight years, two years were leap, two years were leap. These were the leap years, and the remaining six were the non-leap years. And by the uh, concept of uh, calendars, we know that in a leap year we have two odd days. So there will be two odd days here for per, uh, for each year. So total would be four odd days. There are two odd days in a leap year. So total uh, odd days here will be two into two four. Since there are two leap years, for every leap year there are two odd days. Odd days simply means the number of days left after the complete weeks. For example, in a non leap year, we have 365 days. So if I divide 365 by 7, I will get 52 as the quotient. That means there are 52 weeks, one day is left. That one day is called the odd day. And this one day is responsible for the day uh, to be one more than the uh, one you can say day to day. The simple um, that simply means that if let's say uh, 10th of October 1928 was say Saturday, then 10th of October 1929 would be Sunday because day will advance to one day ahead. The only reason is that due to this one odd day. 10th of October 1928 was Saturday, so the next year. On the same date, 10th October 1929, it would be Sunday. On the next year in 1930, it would be Monday. On the same date, 10th October 1930. Right? So this is just an example. And for the non-leap year, uh, for the leap year, it would be two odd days because in that case the number of days are 366. So remainder will be two here. So there are two leap years. So that's why we are having total four odd days and for the six non-leap years, we are getting six odd days. The total comes out to be 10. Now, odd days can never be more than six because when you get seventh odd day, you will get one complete week. So divided by seven, we get three odd days. Now, three odd means the day will shift three days ahead. If 1st January 1983 was Saturday and we have to add three odd days in this, it will be Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. So that means 1st January 1991 in that case would be Tuesday. If you cannot do this, if you cannot understand this, um, then you can also do it manually. You can also do it manually that 1st January 1983 was Saturday, so 1st January 1984 will be Sunday, 1st January 1985 will be Tuesday. Now this will not be Monday, this will be Tuesday. The reason being 84 was a leap year. So day will advance two days ahead. And in uh, 1st January 1986, that was Wednesday, 87 was Thursday and so on. So keep on doing this, you will get 1st January 1991 as Tuesday. If the first January 1991 is Tuesday, that means 31st December, 31st December 1990 is Monday. 31st December 1990 is Monday. Okay. So why I have taken this this date? Because we have to take all the days of the 1991 now. If I take this date, this day, then I cannot take the remaining 257 days in the year. 1991, we are left with 257 days. If I, if I uh, start from this date, uh, if I take uh, instead of 31st December 1990, if I take this date, if I take this date as the reference date, even then I can do the question, but in that case, I will not be taking 257 days. In that case, I will be taking 256 days because the first day of that year is taken as a reference date. Just to avoid that confusion, what I'm doing is I'm going back 
one day so 31st december 1990 was monday now in this case what will happen since you are taking this as a reference date and the year 1991 has not come yet so that simply means when you take the year 1991 you will take the total number of days left in the year 1991 you can take that which is 257 okay so we are left with 257 days now of the year 1991 again by the concept of odd days if i divide 257 by 7 why i am dividing it by 7 because the week uh one week uh, is is for the seven days so by dividing it i'm just checking how many days are left after complete weeks so quotient here would be and the remainder is five Right, so question is thirty-six. Remainder is five. That simply means that thirty-six uh, weeks are complete here, and five are the odd days. If five are the odd days, then we have to check five days after Monday. Five days after Monday will be Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. So fifth day will be Saturday. That means the work was completed on. Saturday itself. Again, I divided this two fifty seven by seven just to find this remainder, which is the number of odd days. Odd days simply means the number of days left after the complete weeks, and those are the days which are responsible for the advancement of the day. So, answer for this question is uh, Saturday. Next, it says, "Will Billy's wife was born on which date? Date of birth of Billy's wife." As per the discussion of this question up to this point, we know that there are two fifty-seven days left in the year nineteen ninety-one. That is clear to us. If I try to find the date on the two fifty-seventh day, that has to be done manually in the year nineteen ninety-one. that has to be done manually for january we have 31 days this is the calculation done for 1991 for january we have 31 days for feb it was 28 for march it is 30 april sorry march it is 31 for april it is 30 may 31 june 30 july and august 31 so if you do this you will find that uh we will be required only Uh, I think fourteen days of the September. Now let us do the calculation. Let us do the addition. Seventeen one plus eight plus one plus one plus one plus four. That will be seventeen. One plus three four to six nine twelve fifteen eighteen twenty one twenty four and twenty five. Right. So that. Total becomes two fifty seven. So this was for the January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, and September. That means two fifty seven days completes on September fourteenth. Fourteenth September nineteen ninety one was Saturday. And question says the uh, birthday is. Yes. On the completion of the construction, he announced a house house warming house warming some surprise birthday party on the coming Monday. The birthday was on the coming Monday. If fourteen September nineteen ninety one was Saturday, the coming Monday would be sixteenth September nineteen ninety one. That would be a Monday, right? And on this date, the uh, Empress or sorry, Billy's wife was. Uh, Becoming, uh, for uh, she was having uh, her seventy fourth birthday, so her age would be seventy four years on this day. Obviously, we need to subtract seventy four years from this. Answer would be sixteenth September, nineteen seventy. So she was born on sixteenth September, nineteen seventy.
next it says if the number of laborers available for the construction were 750 initially they were 250 but now they are 750 then the construction of the palace would have been completed on or before which birthday of babami's wife now we know that her birthday falls on 16th of september now initially it took 3099 days and 250 laborers worked so 250 into 3099 this much is the amount of work but if the number of laborers are 750 as given in the question let's say the days taken are d if i solve this it will be 1033 so days now in, uh, which are taken are 1033 and in the year 1983 3 to 3 days were there in 1984 the work was done for 356 days since 10 days was a break up to this point you can see that it is coming out to be 711 and the remaining days are 1033 minus 711 if we do that we will get uh so it is 1033 so 1033 minus 711 so the remaining days are 322 obviously the work was completed in the year 1985 in the 1985 only 322 days were consumed and in the year 1985 we know that the birthday of the lady falls on 16th september 1985 and as per the previous discussion this was the 257th day of the year obviously the work was completed after 16 September 1985. Her birth year was, as per the previous question, that was 16 September 1917. So from 1917 up to 16 September 1985, it is 68 years. So she has completed 68 years. After that, the work completed. That means the work was completed before the 69th birthday. That which will be fall, which will fall on the next year. So answer is 69. birthday so this was all about this set thank you